You guys ever cheat on your spouse? No? Perfect. <laughs> I just like to see if anyone's super drunk. Like, yeah, oh, shit. Uh, uh. <laughs> I got caught cheating one time. It was on Halloween night, one of the scariest nights of my life. And I was living in Vegas at the time, and my girlfriend was at work, and one of my old high school friends was in town visiting, and she said she wanted to come over and help hand out candy to little kids. But then we ended up in this crazy game of trick-or-treat in my bedroom. <laughs> and I'm having sex with this girl, and I hear the doorbell ring, and I look at the clock. I'm like, it's 10.15. It's too late for a trick-or-treater. She's like, yeah, just ignore it. Keep going. I was like, yeah, all right. That's a good idea. And then little kid rang the doorbell again. I was like, shit, I guess I got to go deal with this. So I put my clothes on, and I went downstairs. And, of course, when I opened the door, it wasn't a trick-or-treater. It was my girlfriend, and she was furious. So I gave her a Snickers. <laughs> but that shit only works in the commercials, because she took it and fucking threw it over my neighbor's house. So she tried to barge in the door, and I slammed the door, and I wouldn't let her in, because I didn't want a big cat fight in my house. And... Uh, so I was hoping she would just leave, and I walked back upstairs, and when I got to my bedroom, the next thing I heard was just boom, boom, boom. And I, I looked out my bedroom window, and my girlfriend is in her Jeep just ramming the shit out of my car. <laughs> and I'm watching, like, the back taillights break, and the bumper start to fall off. And so I call her parents. I'm like, hey, can you get this psycho out of here? And they call her, and she flips me off out the sunroof and peels off and... uh so I go downstairs to see how bad the damage is. When I get outside, my bumper is all the way off my car. All the back lights are broken. And to make things worse, she had taken her key and carved cheater real big in the side of my car, which was a real cock block for a newly single guy. <laughs> <laughs> so for like the next two months, I'd see a beautiful girl at a stoplight or in a parking lot, and I'd smile at them, and they'd smile back, and then they'd see Cheater in my car and be like, what an asshole, and drive off. And so I didn't get laid for months, and I would just lay in bed so frustrated, like, what am I going to do? I can't buy a new car. I don't even have enough money for a paint job. And then one night, in the middle of the night, it hit me like the greatest idea ever, and I walked downstairs, and I grabbed my keys, and I went out to my car, and I just carved not a above cheater so my car said not a cheater but you women are like too smart and could tell the different penmanship or whatever because I still didn't get laid for like another two months and then one day at lunch it hit me like another brilliant idea out of nowhere and I walked outside and I grabbed my keys and I carved P-E-A in front of cheater so my car just said not a P cheater which confused the shit out of people, but I finally started getting laid again. I was like, they're like, oh, he, he's a good dude. He just won't go down on me. I'm like, no, that's not it at all. And then I finally got a girlfriend, and on our one-year anniversary, I let her carve good boyfriend in the other side of my car. So one side said good boyfriend, and then the other side said not a peach eater. And then that car died, and I sold it to some Mexicans for $300. <laughs> and I started to tell them this incredible story, and about 20 seconds in, they're like, amigo, we don't give a shit. This car is making one trip and one trip only. <laughs> and I was so proud of that car. I was like, my car is in the Mexican mafia. <laughs> it's the baddest 97 Maxima ever.